In this lesson, we're going to learn about condensation and hydrolysis reactions. So in condensation reactions, two, larger, two smaller molecules will combine to form a single larger organic molecule, and a small molecule, which is usually water, is also produced. So in esterification, we will create an ester through alcohol and carboxylic acid as reactants. So over here hydrogen and hydroxide will combine to form the water and this oxygen is going to bond with the carbon over here to form an ester. We can also create an amide through an amine and a carboxylic acid. So if we draw this as the two hydrogens separate, hydrogen and a hydroxide will combine to form water and this carbon and this nitrogen will bond together to form the amide. Hydrolysis reactions are the opposite of condensation reactions. So here, a larger molecule is going to be split into two smaller ones through water being added. So to break an ester up, if we add water, we're going to break the bond over here, and water is going to break into hydrogen and hydroxide. So a hydroxide group would add over here, and a hydrogen would add to that oxygen, creating the carboxylic acid and an alcohol. So as an example, if we have butyl acetate and water, we're gonna have the hydroxide coming in over here, a hydrogen attaching to that oxygen, and now we have acetic acid and butyn one all, if we're using the newer naming. And acetic acid is a common name, so we have two carbons here, and it's a carboxylic acid, so that would be called ethanoic acid through the IUPAC naming system. We can also break an amide up through adding water, and so we're going to split the bond over here. A hydroxide would be added here, and then a hydrogen added to that nitrogen to create a carboxylic acid and an amine. 